Hi, I'm Lucy from Sew Essential and I'm here today to share a roundup of patterns and fabrics from the Sewing Bee Semi-Final Series 9. What a week it was. I cannot believe the pattern challenge they gave the Sewing Bees. They asked them to sew a trench coat in five hours. You know, if anybody's watching this and thinks, oh, I could do that, I fancy that challenge, please tell me in the comments. But equally, if you feel the same as me and you think, oh my goodness, how did they do that? what an absolutely massive challenge that is also tell me in the comments i am definitely firmly in that camp and i was blown away by what was produced i just couldn't believe how well some of them did um, i've got four gorgeous patterns to share with you and i was really excited by both of the garments they chose this week for the pattern challenge and the made to measure because i knew there's a real mix and array of lovely indie pattern companies and then the big fours as well lots of gorgeous options for you all to enjoy so the first one i want to share with you is the isla trench coat by named patterns runs up to a size 28 and it's got all of those classic trench coat design details so it's got a double fronted button down um, fastening it's got the waist tie it's got a storm flap on the front and a storm flap on the back it's got welt pockets um, a collar and lapels um, and then it's got um, little uh, belts around the cuffs um, so and lots of top stitching design details really lovely project to get your teeth into and make a classic chic trench coat design um, so that's the first one i'm going to pop links to all of the patterns and all of the fabrics i mentioned in the description below so check those out if you want any more details or just drop us an email if ever you need any help but i'm going to run through the patterns first and then i'll show you the fabric so um, the next pattern i want to share with you is a great pattern for anybody who struggles with fit um, because they've got a lot of curves they've got a full burst that sort of thing um, it's by cashmerette it's called the chilton trench coat it runs up to a size 28 and it runs from sizes uh, cup sizes from a c to an h so if you you're somebody who has to make a full bust adjustment to a lot of your patterns um, the cashmere range which we stock the full range on our site are fantastic because they do um, create pattern pieces for different bust sizes so you're able to cut a pattern out that already is going to fit your bust much better than if you're cutting a pattern out that's drafted for a b cup and you're having to then do a full bust adjustment obviously depending on how much of a great fit you want how unique your body is um, you know you may still need to make some little tweaks and adjustments but being able to cut a pattern out with an h cup size um, is always going to be a much better starting point than you know that standard sort of b cup that we find for most patterns um so yeah fantastic from that point of view um it hasn't got the double breasted front that the sewing bees had on theirs it's single breasted button down it's got the lapel that um that reveres back the little collar um i think it has got it's got top stitching detail it looks like it might have epaulettes actually no i don't think it does have epaulettes on the shoulder um, but it's got like a little storm flap detail on one side but also it's got princess seams so again that's another sort of thinking around the fit and being able to get a nice fit um, over the bust particularly it's got a waist tie and you can go for a knee length version or a shorter jacket version so lots of lovely design details in that one but particularly really good for the fit as well the next one I want to share with you is Vicky Sews. It's the Peyton Trench Coat, runs up to a size 24. As I said, I'm gonna link all of these below, just check in the description, you'll find them all there. Um, this one is a super contemporary, edgy, quirky design. So if that's your cup of tea, this pattern looks fantastic. It's got a single breasted front, but then it's got an asymmetric sort of flap that comes across and fastens. And then on that side, it's got an asymmetric storm flap that doesn't exist on the other side. So it's quite edgy from that point of view. It's got angled welt pockets. It's got um, cuff belts 
it has got epaulettes on the shoulder it's got a sort of funnel neck design um, and a waist high belt as well and it's a maxi length so full of drama full of impact really unusual and they've used a combination of two different fabric types to really show off that um, asymmetric storm flap design which I think works really well um, so yeah that's a very exciting one for someone who wants to make something truly unique and edgy and different and then finally, McCall's released a great trench coat pattern last year or the year before. It's 8246, um, very similar to the Isla trench coat. It's got the double fronted button down fastening. It's got the waist tie. It's a maxi length, which I think the Isla is as well. Um, it's got storm flaps on the front that continue. I think there's a storm flap on the back as well. It's got angled welt pockets, um, the belts round the cuff the uh, button tab belts around the cuff um, so all of those classic design details but also you've got the full length maxi version and you've also got a shorter jacket version as well and for all of those patterns I thought our seven berry cotton twill would work really well I think I might have seen some of this on the show last night um, a lot of the bees went for like a cotton twill what I will say is these aren't waterproof so if you want a waterproof fabric you would need to source that separately because we don't have any but if you I'm not sure I think you can have these treated probably to make them waterproof as well um, or if you're not bothered about that you could use our seven berry cotton twill you might need to use some quite sort of um, structured interfacing um, to give it a bit more stability and structure um, but we've got plenty of that we've got loads of tailoring um, interfacings tapes all that sort of thing on the site so I'll pop a link to those below with the links for the fabrics and the patterns but we've got the traditional trench coat colour that sort of beige colour um, and then I also picked out this gorgeous hot pink because personally I just think a coat in this is just gorgeous so I've got a wool coat um, for winter in this sort of colour and I absolutely adore it it always gives me a real boost when I put it on really lifts my mood on grey winter days when I wear that lovely bright colour um, and then we've also got a nice sort of French navy colour for anyone who prefers to think a bit more neutral um, but then there's other colours as well there's like an olive green a bright green that lovely orange there um, which I'm going to show you for one of the boiler suit patterns um, but yeah that that was the trench coats um, I felt exhausted after watching it I don't know how the bees must have felt I just it blows my mind it really does how 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 they tackle these tasks I think I would be panicking a lot throughout it but they seem to just hold their nerve and get through it and I really admire them for that well done bees it's awesome watching you watching you tackle these things um, the made to measure challenge was to make a boiler suit um, which I think you know was an easier task in some ways depending on which boiler suit pattern you chose but I think the main challenge is with making a boiler suit that I knew straight away um, would of course be the fit you know you've got to get that fit around the crotch right you've got to get um, the fit around the bum right and all of that can be really tricky and I speak from experience because I've made a pair of very fitted jeans before I made the closet core ginger jeans it's one of my favorite projects I've ever done um, but I spent the best part of a day making fit adjustments and just getting everything spot on and I, you know, I was really proud of them when I finished them, they did fit perfectly. Um, but trying to do that again under that time limit and doing it on a different body, in some ways it's easier to fit someone else but in other ways you, can't, you don't know what the fit issues are because you, you, know, you haven't sort of had that experience of making millions of garments for that body so um, yeah really tough challenge for them again and again what was produced some of it was absolutely gorgeous like really impressive so um the first pattern i want to share with you is simplicity 9700 it's a 1970s vintage rerun those of you who know me well know i absolutely adore the 70s i love the fashion and the music in equal measure um, i love this pattern i think it would be a great great pattern to make it's got a full length trouser that is flared and relatively wide legged so very on trend at the moment it's got options for a big patch pocket on one of the legs and then it's all 
also got the option for patch pockets on the front um, that turn into a belt loop, which is a really clever, um, almost like safari looking design. Um, it's got a zip front, like most of the bees uh, boiler suits did last night. It's got lovely patch pockets with pocket flaps on the, on the chest. Um, there's an option for a roll up sleeve or a bishop sleeve, full length with a cuff. Um, and then it's got a grown on collar, so it's not a separate collar stand and collar, it's just a grown on collar, which is relatively easy to sew. Um, just a really lovely design, runs up to a size 26. And I thought that would look great just copying the styling on the packet in this beautiful orange um, seven berry twill fabric. I thought that would look gorgeous with like gold accessories. Um, very, very nice, very striking. And then the next pattern I wanted to share with you was a closet core pattern, the Blanca flight suit. Another one with loads of lovely design details to get your teeth into. Um, lots of different options on the sleeves and the legs. Um, it's really customizable because um, you can go for different sleeve options, as I said. You can make it in lots of different fabrics. Um, this one again is a center front zipper, um, a little collar, patch pockets on the chest, similar design detail to the patch pockets um, that turn into a belt loop on the simplicity pattern. And then options for like a wide leg or a tapered leg, long sleeve, short sleeve, lots and lots of different things to try there. Option for a little clip together belt, really lovely. Um, and that runs up to a size 20. Um, and I thought actually the jumpsuits we've just had some new gorgeous denim fabrics in well we've had them a while but we've finally got them on the site um, and they come in these gorgeous pastel colors um, so if you have been watching Mia's efforts on the sewing bee and falling in love with all her pinks and pastels and that sort of thing um, you're going to love these denims but they're a really nice weight as well um, they're perfect for things like dresses jumpsuits um, they've got stretch in them so nice and comfortable um, this is the spearmint green colour. I'm not sure how well the camera is picking that up. I hope it's uh, coming across okay, but you can check it out on the website anyway. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely spearmint green colour, really fresh. And I thought that might make a nice option for the Blanca flight suit or any of the um, boiler suit patterns, really. And while we're on the subject, I just thought I'd show you the dress I'm wearing. I'm going to pop a link to this below, but this is one of my all time favourites. Um, makes that I've worn to death. It's a McCall's pattern and I made it in like this chambray fabric but as soon as we got these spearmint and pink denims in I thought oh they're the perfect weight um, to make this dress and I, I really really love this dress. I've worn it so so much over the years. Made it probably couple two or three years ago maybe um, and I think those denims would be perfect for something like this as well so I will try and remember to put the link to the pattern for you below. Um, the next boiler suit pattern I want to share with you is the Melrose boiler suit um, which is um, by Stylark. Really love their designs. They're always super chic and contemporary. They also run up to a size 30, so they're very size inclusive, which is great. Um, this boiler suit's got a covered button um, stand so it's a button down front and but it's covered so you can't see the buttons um, it's got a little grown on collar it doesn't look like it's got a collar stand it's got a double yoke at the back little tucks for shaping at the back patch pockets on the front um, patch pockets again on the leg and on the bum should you choose to add them and it's got a slightly tapered but loose fitting leg um, really lovely design love the way they styled it on the packet with some little ankle boots think that would look really cool um, and again this one I thought would look great in any of the seven berry cotton twills but I thought I'd just show you another one of these new denims that we've had in so this is that lovely the lovely pastel pinky colour. Um, I hope these colours are showing up okay on the camera. From where I'm sitting they're looking a bit blown out but it's a lovely sort of pale pink colour. I think it's called carnation and it really is that car carnation pink sort of colour. Um, I think that green is showing up better there as well than when I was holding it up to the camera. That's like a lovely spearmint colour. Um, but yeah I just thought if you're feeling the vibes of Mia with her her pastel and pink obsession as Esme called it, um, those would be great for you. And then finally, there's a great McCall's pattern I wanted to share, McCall's 8243, um, which is a boiler suit pattern. You've got options for a full length leg, 
patch pockets on the front, single um, button fastening at the front. The buttons are visible on this one. A little grown on collar. You've got options for a long sleeve with a cuff and button fastening and a wide leg, or you've got options for a shorter sleeve um, that's rolled back. And then you've also got options for a romper or a play suit with short legs, but long sleeves. Um, that one runs up to a 32 as well. So really size inclusive on that one. And yeah, just lots of options. Um, there's a waist belt that you can make with a D-ring as well on this one. So you've got quite a few different looks out of that pattern, which I thought was nice. And I thought I'd just share as well, uh, one of our more traditional denims, because this would be great for any of the boiler suits as well. You might even be able to make some of the trench coats out of a denim if you wanted to. We've got this lovely indigo coloured denim and I always think like a classic boiler suit would look absolutely great in that as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you're enjoying the show. I just want to say that next week's episode, the final, there is going to be a delay on our coverage of that. It will be the following week that you'll get that coverage. I'm really sorry about that. Um, but I kind of think just when you're missing the sewing bee so much and you know, wondering how you're going to fill that hole in your life, that there'll be a no new shiny video there for you um, to just get an extra little bit of inspiration to spur you on for the rest of the summer. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed everything today. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Don't forget you can sign up for our newsletter below. I've popped a link for that below as well. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time.